Good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday Mall for Thursday, the 21st of October. With Robert Murray McShane today, we read the second chapter of Second Kings. Elijah had been told by God that his life was coming to an end and that he needed to appoint Elisha as his successor. So he calls him and the two of them are walking along together. And it had been made clear to Elisha that Elijah was going to be taken into heaven at some point. Reading from verse 11, as they were walking along and talking together, suddenly a chariot of fire and horses of fire appeared and separated the two of them. And Elijah went up into heaven in a whirlwind. And so Elijah doesn't die, but is taken up into heaven in front of Elisha. He sees him going up. And that is why uh, years later, centuries later, when Jesus is on earth and he takes Peter, James and John to the Mount of Transfiguration and is transfigured before them, they catch a glimpse of his glory and they see him speaking to Moses and to Elijah. Moses, the uh, imparter of the, the law and the Pentateuch and Elijah symbolizing the prophets of God. And he speaks to him because Elijah, we see here, is taken into heaven. And then Elisha is distraught. And we told in verse 13, Elisha picked up Elijah's cloak that had fallen from him, went back and stood on the banks of the Jordan. He took the cloak that had fallen and struck the water with it. Where now is the Lord, the God of Elijah? He asked. When he struck the water, it divided the, into the right and to the left. And he crossed over. As the two of them had been walking along, Elijah had done exactly that. He'd struck the Jordan, it had split, and they'd crossed over. And now coming back, Elisha does it. And what this says is that the power wasn't in Elijah, the man. The power was from God and had been given to Elijah. And now God gives that same power to Elisha to continue the ministry Elijah had had. And we need to recognize and are thankful that God gives that same spirit to us as his children. And so as we go through life, we are called to live for him, not on our own strength, not according to what our abilities are, but we're called to trust in him and rely on his spirit as we go into our lives to shine for him, to be salt in the earth um, and to, to make a difference. So be encouraged that the spirit of the God of Elijah is the spirit that Jesus gives to us day by day.